had a couple of problems with this device when I first got it, but QuirkLogic have solved them. The software updates have completely dealt with the issues that I had. Even before they had solved these problems, I was going back to this device because of two things, the size of it and the weight of it. It's really thin and really light because it's got this plastic design. It's worth stating that again, it's really important. It, it weighs as much or less than some smaller e-ink devices. So that's very, very useful in the professional environment. So when QuirkLogic sent this device out to me, they were looking for my feedback, especially using it in education. And I really loved it. Look back at my evaluation video, which is essentially the feedback that I sent to QuirkLogic. There were just a few things that were making it too frustrating. So I was still looking for the perfect replacement for a paper notebook. The first problem was that the battery life was only really lasting a day. And, and that was because it was constantly trying to upload and constantly updating to the online copies of all the documents that it was keeping. And so that meant that it was another device that I had to charge every single day. And I didn't want that from an e-ink tablet. So what did they do? They introduced automatic sleep and offline documents so that it didn't have to be on the Wi-Fi all of the time. And it had a timer to take itself off the Wi-Fi so that it wasn't sitting there constantly updating, constantly communicating through its Wi-Fi. That was a bit of a change in thought for QuirkLogic because the idea of this QuirkLogic paper is about collaboration. It's about real-time collaboration around ideas, and that's a really noble aim. But to enable you to use it just as your notepad, to enable you to use it for your own ideas, and then to switch into that collaboration mode is a really powerful thing, enabling you to now have a battery life that lasts all week. So before the update, there was the ability just to leave them as purely on the device, but then they weren't syncing to the cloud. So now you can take a document offline and you can use it offline. And then when you get back onto the cloud, you can sync it back up and it becomes an online document. So you can choose when to sync them and you can choose when to be using the Wi-Fi. And you know then that your battery is likely to drain a bit faster whilst you are using it in that live collaboration mode. But then you can come out of that, switch off the Wi-Fi and know that you get that real advantage of e-ink screens, which is the long battery life. I was really worried that the paper wasn't going to work well moving between the different Wi-Fi zones in my school, but it did. It handled it really absolutely fine. But uh, it was more the battery life that was the issue with the Wi-Fi. Now I can turn it on and I can use it to present to my class and I can use it to collaborate if I wish and then leave it off for the rest of the day to preserve the battery. So thinking about teaching leads me to the second issue that I had, and that was actually not about the device, but it was about the web app. The thing about the web app is that it only let you show the document that you were working on, so that you're presenting with essentially in a portrait mode and in a box within the browser. So it meant that if you were putting it on the screen at the front of the classroom, it was only taking up a really small amount of the screen and not using all of that really nice large screen area that you've got in a classroom. And there also wasn't a landscape mode for the device. So you couldn't turn the device around and use it in landscape mode, which might not seem like a problem, but because you're presenting into a TV that is in landscape mode, it would be really useful if this was a similar kind of aspect ratio. So the thing you're looking at closely matched what the students were looking at on the screen. So I recommended that they have a kind of presentation mode and allow us to use the whole screen to show off the document. And that's exactly what they did. So now it looks great, right? And you can still do that lovely thing where you can move around to a different point on the screen where somebody collaborating can be looking at a different part, but you can also zoom in and zoom out and pan, and you can match up this view to that view and just teach away. You can fit the document to width and you can fit it to the height. They've improved it now. So that's really good. It, it's really chill presenting on this device now. It's light, it's portable, you can sit anywhere in the room. It's very easy to work through some problems like this and it's a very casual way of doing it. And it looks really, really good. You can also be showing one part and working on another part, which is really quite nice if you're having to think through a problem whilst the students are getting their head around the last one. They've also added a drag and drop PDF so you can put in the web app you can actually put PDFs into the file, whereas you used to have to do it on the device, which was quite a clunky way around of doing it. And also they've added public links. So you can choose whether your file needs to be password protected or is only available for emails that you actually specify, accounts that you specify, or if you just want it to be able to be shared as a public link, which can be editable or read only, and people can just click that without having an account and be able to see the same view. 
and that's great for presenting if you wanted to do a webinar or something or if you wanted to do a live teaching of any kind you could actually have everybody just click a link and they'd be there to look at the same thing that you were showing them the same document you were working on on your quote logic paper it's great it's fantastic well done to quote logic for taking the feedback and then working on it so quickly and I keep going back to this device because it is designed for education. So for me as well, it's great giving feedback and seeing it actually acted on. Uh, it's that's really you know that's really gratifying. And knowing that Quirk Logic are a company that are working on a device specifically for educators, they're really willing to listen to feedback from educators. This is an unique device, one for the future, one to keep an eye on if you're in the education space. It's a really excellent device and I'm really keen to see what they're going to do next in terms of hardware, but also in terms of the software. Quirk Logic Paper, problems solved. <laughs>